Welcome, dear viewer, to another episode of Mind of Steel. This is the approximately weekly show in which I, your friend Reynard Wilson, will attempt to guide you to the very apex of the mountain of madness that is Mark Steele. This is a strange place, this mountain. It's, it's full of treacherous gullies, dangerous glaciers, and even worse things than you could possibly imagine which is why we make use of certain visual aids in the process of understanding Mark Steele. And today's is a video that I downloaded from Rumble. It's called The Band Video They Don't Want You To See. Well, I don't know who they are, but they ain't telling me what to do. And if they say we ought not to see it, ha, that's the video I sure as hell am showing you. So please, Open your eyes as wide as they possibly can. I want you to give Mark Steele your full and undiluted attention, because what you're about to receive is a transmission of pure, unalloyed fact. Whenever I, you know, find out that anybody's got diabetes, always tell them to switch your Wi-Fi off, you'll be fine. Doctors don't know that. Doctors have been, this information has been kept from doctors. They'll, what they'll do, they will treat you with drugs. They will give you things to mediate and mitigate your diabetes symptoms when all they need to do is try and protect you from non-ionizing radiation emissions in your home. We all... Well, didn't I warn you? Mark's presentation began with an astonishing revelation that a disease first described three and a half thousand years ago is actually caused by non-ionizing radiation in the home, possibly due to Wi-Fi and cell phones. Well, <laughs> what a revelation, guys. So all of the other illnesses and sicknesses that you potentially would get, like flu, pneumonia, uh, corona type symptoms, anything like that, you're going to get a lot more of it because, because that's what... It's not funny. It, it, this is what, it, it's, what you, yeah. it's so ridiculous. <laughs> oh, gosh, Mark, we do have such fun laughter talking about people getting sick from various diseases, don't we? It's a funny... It's a good old wheeze, isn't it? <laughs> we, we have a laugh, don't we? <laughs> but, Mark, that's not the only way people can get sick, is it? If I want to cause pulmonary edema flooding in the lung, I'll just take you up with a load of radiation and your flood, your blood, your, your lungs will flood with um, fluids. Uh, lungs flooding with fluids. Whew. We wouldn't want to do that, would we, Mark? That doesn't sound very pleasant at all. You wouldn't be... Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Don't do that, Mark. When the organ actually targets some of the organs in your body due to the dielectric properties that they have, and then I can modulate that frequency and I can cause a vibration, so I cause a temperature increase. I don't need a lot of power to kill you. Whoa, oh, Mark, Mark, hold it there, hold it there. Uh, let's, not, let's not anybody kill anybody today, right? I think we're going a little bit too far. Just ch chill your beans, mate. I mean, I can kill you with a lot of power, but I, I don't necessarily need that. I just need the specifics of the direct properties of an organ so I can get into the body, into the organ, and then I can basically kill you and you wouldn't even know I was killing you. you have... Mark, can you just quit it with the, the killing and the death, right? I'm beginning to worry about you. It's, it's all you ever seem to talk about, like the ways you could kill people. Look, that's not a good look for someone who already has one conviction for aggravated bodily harm. Mark's the guy who recklessly discharged a firearm while he was working as a bouncer outside a, a nightclub in the Gateshead area, and he accidentally shot a young girl in the head. So for to have you talking about the ways you could kill people, Mark, you better tone it down, because you're going to scare people. See, once, once I get enough people in the city, I can kill a lot of people, and then I can set fire to the city. So I can mm. burn the city at the same time as fill it full of dead bodies. Wish I could say I didn't believe you, but... <laughs> no. Mark, can you tone down the violent fantasies? You're scaring Samantha Edwards, and, and she's just a, a simple-minded fool who lacks the critical thinking abilities or the scientific education to know that what you're talking about is just deranged bollocks 
with no grounding in actual science or reality, right? She doesn't know what to think, and you're frightening her now, and, th and that's not nice. She's just a relatively harmless idiot, and I don't think she deserves that. There's a lot of people out there who are EHS sensitive. Um, you can prove in a court oh, that does exist, the science shows it exists, you get a medical, and then you can then sue your local authority for discrimination, disability discrimination. It's a really interesting case. If anybody needs any help with that, get in touch. Okay, well, that's important news for anybody deluded enough to believe that they are victims of electromagnetic hypersensitivity, a disease which is believed by the vast majority of doctors to be entirely psychological. In other words, it has no physical component. Well, if you suffer from that disease, then you can go one step even more deluded by hiring Mark Steele to represent you in court. I, I'm sure that will go brilliantly, which is why, if you are that person, we would love to hear from you. Please tell us how well it went when Mark Steele represented you in, in a British tribunal. I can't wait to report on that. If you look at all the symbols and signs, the Apple, Apple computers, the bite out of it, it's the first sin. You then start to look at Chrome, Adrenochrome, all of the technologies that are in Google, etc. they're all demonic. Well, I hope that Mark Steele begins his own technology news channel because he's covering the important technology facts that Marcus Brownlee and uh, Linus from Linus Tech Tips would be far too afraid to reveal. <laughs> the fact that every single one of Google's technologies is satanic is truly mind-bending stuff. The, the kind of news that, that we as consumers need to know. And don't forget that a, a few weeks ago, Mark revealed that Microsoft's Azure platform was uh, compromised and maybe under control of a child from Birmingham who is using it to kill police officers. You can't get this news anywhere else. Never Could there ever be such a thing as 6G, Mark? No. No. Yeah, this like the, I've seen some of the 6G stuff and I've read some of the documents and all they're really referring to is 5G. The World Economic Forum right who are pushing this will tell you no more Gs. Well, of course, the World Economic Forum is the definitive source of information if you want to find out what's going to happen about the next generation of telecommunication system. And, and if they say no more Gs, well, I think you can, you can have it. That's a definitive full stop. There are going to be no, no further developments in telecommunications from this point out. And uh, Mark is going to explain why. Oh, no. 6G is all about uh, the energy that the body's going to create to create its own communications mm. network. Yeah, yeah, that's what I heard. It's in the 5G protocol. How is it that Samantha Edwards and Mark Steele are just so ahead of the curve? 6G, which may or may not exist, is going to be all about the body's energy field, whatever that means. <laughs> Brilliant. OK, so we take it back. There is going to be a 6G. 6G will spoil the black magic, you know, because this is a, it's a black magic spell. Wait, so if 6G is going to spoil the black magic, is that a good thing, Mark? Because, wait, is, I'm assuming black magic is bad forum there's no more g's and why would that be 5g is the pentagram and the pentagram is 5g penna g five gram so the 6g that harnesses the body's energy field can't exist because it would break the 5g black magic spell well <laughs> take that gaming nexus we give you the hardware reviews that you need that really matter huh eh? When are those guys going to report on black magic spells? Never! You don't have to take my word for it. Um, a lot of people find it extremely difficult, you know, the things that, I've, that I speak about. However... Yeah. They are hard uh, to process. Because, they're yeah. hard to process, but unfortunately, yeah. unfortunately, the, the world's run by a satanic cult, and they want you dead. Even, even uh, Putin, the, uh, the president of the Russian uh, Federation, he's actually said, the West run by Satanists. Yes, and he said it. I know. And who better than Vladimir Putin 
to describe the satanic condition of the West and all of its telecommunication companies. Thank you, Mark, for uh, putting a plug in for, for good old Vladimir and, and his uh, assessment of our spiritual condition. I, I, I couldn't think of a, a better way to end an episode of Mind of Steel. <laughs> and hasn't today been the wildest of wild rides? <laughs> We've learned that the cure for diabetes is just to switch off your Wi-Fi. We've learned that Mark has access to medical information that is elusive even to the world's finest doctors and, and medical minds. We've learned that 5G is the G to end all Gs. There shall be no Gs after five because five is the number of the pentagram. And we've also got some high tech insider tips as to what the future of cloud platforms is likely to be. We've learned that Google's technology is satanic. And previously we've learned that Azure was under control of teenagers from Birmingham. And that can only leave one cloud solution provider left. That's Amazon. So congratulations to Amazon Web Services. You've just won the big prize. And I'm sure Mark Steele will hand it to you sometime in the next week. And hopefully, by which time, I shall have another episode of Mind of Steel prepared for you. And I can assure you that uh, if we survive this escapade in the mountains of madness, it shall be one that is truly brain dizzying.